Yo, what's up guys, Don't Like Productions here, giving you guys yet another video, and today I'm just going to recap the Kaji Greaves Metal Knight um, leaderboard, it's just pretty quickly, it's going to be a relatively quick um, upload here tonight, so first of all, for you neutral supporters or supporters of another club, Kaji Greaves was a um, John player, who actually died in 1963. He won a Brianlo. So that's pretty good. So today's, I just want to recap the top um, 10. It says nine on the leaderboard, but um, it was tied for first and second. So we will start off with ninth, um, Tom Stewart. So I reckon he definitely would have ranked higher um, if he wasn't reported and suspended, I reckon he should have been suspended for a few less games than four, I think he got. It's irrelevant to me now. We won the premiership. Um, so yeah, I reckon he also would have polled really higher if... It's just that our defence, um, if we didn't have someone like DK, Sam DeConin, and, um... I, and Jack Henry, then he probably would have pulled a bit higher, but it's hard for him to get any higher than where he did because of how many games he missed. So it's understandable for him, ninth place, Tom Stewart. So eighth is Sam DeConin. He had a great season. Um, obviously, I thought he would have been able to win Rising Star, but obviously not. Unfortunately, I was a little optimistic. <laughs> but he had a great season all up, great grand final. He really shone out, um, which is great. He kept but he kept all his people he was on to relatively low scores. Only really a few of the games we've lost. But um pretty good. So Sim de Conin, 8th. And 7th is Brad Close as a pretty good goal sneak. So whenever our forwards are having a bit of uh, locked up, he's always good there. In the Melbourne game, uh, I saw Melbourne, they um, did pretty well to defend um, our tools. So Brad Close kicked a few goals for them, for us um, in that game. Um can't remember what round it was, I, yeah, but um, yeah, so he's a good goal sneak, and he did well, he's, he had a good finals, not sure who he was on in either of the finals, I didn't really pay much attention, but he did kick a few goals, so number seventh, Brad Close. Number six is Zach Tui, our little Irishman, well, big Irishman, 250 gamer, it's pretty good achievement by him so he kind of plays defense and then he also likes to go up which is great um, to have a player like that um, I hope he plays a lot more seasons because he's a um, very very good key to our um, attack and defense so he also likes to sometimes go for goal. Doesn't really get too many goals. If you've seen in the match day vlogs, either my dad or me or Lucas say Tui loves a goal. It's a little funny joke we've had. Also, a little bit of a plug. Um, I made a playlist for all the match day vlogs I did this year. Um, there's like 12 of them. You can, bin you can binge watch them all. Just go um, in my channel. Go... To the top, it says playlists, and it's only I've only made one playlist, so that's the one. So make sure you watch that, all those, because there's some pretty good match day vlogs there. Some pretty high viewing viewer ones, some pretty low ones too, but my grand final ones are in pretty good so far, so thank you guys all for that. But yeah, go check out that playlist. I created it oh, maybe five days ago, but yeah. 
Number five is Tom Atkins of, or the Raging Bull. So he's really good in the middle. Uh, if danger is, well, if the ball doesn't get to danger first, he's always there to have a little bit of a run with it, a few bounces. Uh, sometimes likes it goes up forward. He's also pretty key. And that middle of Salwood danger, um, the middle, like, when the bounce happens and Selwood danger and then Atkins is there. That's a pretty lethal duo. And of course Selwood's retired now, so um gonna have to maybe we'll find a Jerry Wet maybe we can find that GWS player and make him a bit like Selwood, but you can't replicate Selwood. So number five is Tom Atkins. So number four is Tyson Stengel. I never knew we could have or get Stengel or any type of really small forward. Geelong for a long time has been, well, especially with this type of Geelong, the modern era Geelong, um, talking maybe 2016 onwards. Our tools have really dominated the forward line, but it's good to see Tyson Stengel be in the forward line and kick a lot of goals for us. He actually scored... Um, more than all the players below, obviously. But, um, yeah, he's, he's a great goal sneak. And in all my match day vlogs, again, watch them, please. <laughs> uh, you can you could hear Lucas say, Stingly Bum. Oh, yeah, Stingly Bum. Um, while I'm editing of him saying Stingly Bum, it should um not be too hard. He said it a lot of times, probably every match day vlog. But yeah, so Tyson Stengel, again, probably should have won Rising Star, but he kicked 50-plus goals for us, very vital goals, and yeah, so Stengel is fourth. All right, so number three is kind of a bit of a surprise, Tom Hawkins. Now, Tom Hawkins is pretty much a shell of his own self now, pretty much, unfortunately to say. But, um, he, I don't know, what's, in the grand final, the first ever goal kick of the game, he pushed, he never really, um, made it curve like he used to do, but he's still pretty handy, um, he just needs to kick how he used to kick, remember how he used to kick and kick a few goals, but, um, yeah, He's very tall, so, well, obviously, he's, <laughs> so very good mark, he's got a very big chest, he can kick from pretty much anywhere, well, yeah. but, um, you know, that's pretty handy for him, and he's been around for so long, I think he's 34 now, um, he shouldn't be too close to retiring, unfortunately, obviously, Selwood's already retired, and he was 34 too, um, hopefully, Hawkins is, still has a bit left in him. I would love to see him get through 50, um, mainly because he's been a very high-end forward for a very long time, and I'd like to see him just get one more milestone. So number two is Mark Blissarves. Um, So, hmm, interesting how he went over the thing, but this year, Mark Blissarves, Kind of had a ruck slash forward job, um, which suited him pretty well, luckily. Um, so, really tapping it out and all that. And also played a bit on the win, which is very good. Um, and he's a good run in. He was a um, steeplechase up before footy. And very tall too, but he just can't really kick much. So, that's pretty good. Now we go on to the top. One of the top two. And tied for the card degrees on 113 votes each. Cameron Guthrie and Jezza Cameron. So, also, you've probably also seen on the Match Day vlog that um, we also really like to say Jezza a lot. <laughs> so, sign up for Cameron Guthrie. He's also been a good role maker and player. Uh, 
he just runs up the middle and gives us gives it to the forward and he's very vital, even though he looks a bit homeless unfortunately. But um he's very vital, luckily. So I'm not sure how old he is. He might be thirty or thirty one, so we might still have a bit of time left for him. And for Jezza, well, Jezza, what can I say about him? It's the great Jeremy Cameron. He can kick snaps, long kicks, short kicks, and he's a good marker too. Loves his farm and has an ad for him now, cash converters. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I can't put it up on here because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted and I'll get sued probably. Um, but yeah, so that is the leaderboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so there's going to be a lot of content, well there's probably not going to be a lot of content coming through, so I'm going to do a um, full season review um, using my very trusty um, Geelong Cats se full season record. Um, I'm going to go through every round, who played the best and everything else. So you guys stay tuned for that, make sure you like, subscribe. And comment if you guys agreed with that, because there's a few weird ones, I think. So yeah, that is it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Dawn to Dark out.